Hey everyone, Cyril and Mary here. Heard we were past due for an update on Blue Thunder. So before we went back to South Dakota, we wanted to get him licensed as a motorhome uh, for insurance purposes. So we went through and did a bunch of updates. In the cabinet behind Mary's seat, on the bottom of it, we did some careful measuring and we found a porta potty that we could put in there for a self-contained toilet. Over the bed, it has individual controls for heating and cooling, as well as under the bed, there is a power inverter and a diesel fired uh, heater. On the outside is a separate power input for the truck. Behind the driver's seat where that cabinet was, we removed the cabinet. We put in a temporary refrigerator until such time as we can get a factory one that'll fit within the cabinet. And then the cabinet over top of that, we put a microwave. After getting all that done, we left the truck with licensing sales and service while we went back to South Dakota, got it retitled as a motorhome, picked up our plates, checked with Mary's doctors for her surgery and got that scheduled. Lysing laid out the frame for cutting. They cut it, stretched the frame. They rolled the axles back seven and a half feet, which is the amount that we're stretching it. Hey, wait a minute. How did that get in there? I guess that's telling me that we need to lay out a uh, shout out to our friends back in Las Vegas, Don and Alex. Don has had back surgery here recently and has been recovering well. So... Here's to you guys. We miss you. Wish you were here. Anyway, they put in, uh, Lysing put in a seven and a half foot section of frame, lengthening the truck. They then went through and added a tail section onto the back, which is four and a half feet for laying out the RV type fifth wheel hitch. For now, we're pushing it all the way to the front of that so that we don't offload too much weight on the rear end until after we get a bed made. And right now, our nemesis is the driveline. We have not been able to get one made. The parts are not available on that flange that you see in the picture. And uh, so right now, the truck is a brick. We will keep you updated. We're trying to see what we can do and to come up with an alternate... Uh, plan B. So for now, the truck's a brick. We are in Georgia enjoying the switch it up huddle and looking to see what we can get done for plan B. And with that, we'll out. We'll keep you uh, updated.